All right, ladies and gents, are we live? It is the Macho Man Robot Savage, and it's time for another Dawnless News update. Let's talk about it. All right, so tonight we got patch 1.74 dropping. What can you expect from this? Let the Macho Man cover it for you. All right, here we go. As always, we do this from the Dawnless website so we can see what's actually going on. Astia has unleashed the Phalanx on Blazeworks in the hunting grounds. Well, you have to defeat behemoths on this island to become energized, and while energized, activate six valves to summon this affront against nature to the Forge Arena. So it's apparently like some kind of mach mechanical cloned behemoth kind of thing. That's gonna be cool. Destroyed enough times to craft unique weapons and armor from its parts. All right, we're gonna have a look see at that. Now I hope it comes with this new perk, Omni Surge, because <coughs> excuse me, for those who want to use more abilities, then the game is introducing Omni Surge. This new perk reduces the cooldown of Omni Cell abilities, all right, by up to twenty percent. Don't sleep on that. That's three seconds off your discipline. You get to use it every 12 seconds instead. Every time you use that, all right, you're going to be reducing the cooldown of your lantern ability by 40%. That's 10% off from etheric attunement, but that is going to be very, very helpful. Okay, do not sleep on this perk. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This is going to be the new thing. Bastion will be coming up every 24 seconds, okay? I have a strong, strong feeling. Oh God, I've got a strong, strong feeling that Omni Surge is gonna replace Etheric Attunement, but I'm gonna test it out fully. It's definitely gonna be the case for Discipline. Um, it may not be the case for Bastion or Iceborne, but we'll see. Okay, so that's that's gonna be coming. New quest line. Okay, they're gonna be showing. Show Ostia that Slayers are the ultimate weapon. Talk to Admiral Janik Zai and Ramsgate and begin the first blood quest line. Okay. New Scorchwing Reborn Chest and Scorchwing Visionary Helmet Rumors. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to that new quest line because uh, that Scorchwing stuff sounds cool. New Weapon Skin Rumors. They've added the ENMS Longshot Warpike. Okay, that looks cool. And the execution degree for the axe, okay. Oh, that one releases on September 16th, fair enough. Okay, okay, we gotta complete the long shot Warpike rumor for the second rumor to drop. Can do, can do. That looks easy enough. New die rumor, unlock the sagacity die rumor. Okay, this one a lot of us old older players already have, but for newer players, you can now unlock that. That's gonna be cool. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Let's see. The nimble, okay, balance changes. The nimble perk stamina refund now generates a stamina shield instead with access granted stamina. That's pretty cool. That's gonna be helpful for some people who are charging charogs, but I don't actually see it being useful because um, we, we would, like, adrenaline is dependent on actual stamina levels. So the stamina shield, I mean, it may have a place, but you may as well use the, um, Skullforge instead of ever using this perk, so there's no point in that. The Swift perk now applies sheathed movement speed bonus to nearby allies across all ranks of the perk. Okay, it's good for getting into combat fast. After, it now persists after unsheathing for a short time. Fair enough, fair enough. That could be that could be useful for repositioning, but again, I still probably wouldn't build around it because cell slots are precious and damages life. Um, Hunting grounds reduce part health scaling for behemoths on blazeworks so parts are easier to break in a reasonable amount of time. Heroic Razorwing Cabarak now spawns on blazeworks. Fair enough. Repeaters the damage bonus from Marksman Chamber abilities now calculated as an additive rather than multiplicative modifier. This means slightly less damage output. Fair enough. Fair enough. Marksman Chamber was doing pretty swankalicious. Um, okay. That's a little sucky, but okay. Um, quality of life. Nezaga. Improve colliders and hitboxes. Okay. Improve the interrupt window and interruptible areas. Now players must hit the head or shoulders to interrupt Nezaga. Okay. Updated and polished the model. Looking good, Nene. Okay, fair enough. Updated the name of the screams of the Shrike repeaters so that they aren't too close to the 
name of the scream of the Shrike Warpike. They are now eyes of the Shrike. Fair enough. I mean, okay. Thunderdeep Drask weapons now have corresponding mastery cards. Okay. Gameplay. The Scarn Lantern now does its full damage as advertised. It was short by one tick. That's fair. That's fair. Um, still, Pangars is definitely going to be my choice because, honest to God, on God, if you're not using a discipline build, um, Pangars slows the behemoths down so much and it is so useful. Fixed a bug where Urska's legendary ability was not accounting for perks in its damage calculation against behemoths. That's fair. It was only working properly against Fauna. Okay. Okay. Etheric Evasion now triggers only once per successful dodge as intended. Okay. Discipline Omnicell now generates a single stack per successful parry. Okay. Fixed an issue with the Discipline state where it persisted too long. Fair enough. Tempest Omnicell generates just one stack per successful dodge. Tempest Omnicell now properly includes the consumed stack of velocity in its damage calculation. Okay. For the Hellion, they removed an incorrect fire visual effect at the base of Hellion's feet. Fair enough. Koshai. Shadow Touch Koshai's antlers now disappear when broken off. Fixed Nezaja's jaw during a backhand animation. Fixed where Shrike's tail is not taking part damage. Fixed where Bug where Scrape's tail is not taking part damage. Fair enough. The rest is all UI changes. That's fair enough. The leveling UI now correctly displays max when you're at max level. There you go. Full board chamber has a new brand spanking icon. That's cool. Alright. Alright. And the idle animation on Austin and Forces on Blazeworks will now be a smoother one. Okay. Alright, ladies and gents. Looks like some very interesting quests and changes coming up. We will definitely be taking on the Behemoth first and releasing a video immediately tonight. So look forward to it. Patch 1.74. Bring some new stuff to the game. Um, you can definitely look forward to seeing us on it tonight on stream. All right. So be there. Be there because you don't want to miss this update. Thank you all very much for watching this video. And the Macho Man will see you tonight. Don't miss this. Oh, and uh, of course, don't forget. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to support my content, don't forget to drop a tip by the link in the description of the video. Also, right now. Free international shipping. Get your Asian robot merchandise. Last but not least, you can send super thanks on YouTube. I appreciate that as well. Let's move over to thank you scene. Thank you to September's top supporters: Bravo Seven Nine One Zero, Crampy D, Lewis Grave, FNX Killer Forty Three, also known as FNX Daryl Forty Three, Savi Uzumaki, Alien Frost Eighty, Kaz to my lovely lady, Yuki No Kami, J Money Thirteen, Ravik, and Starbuzz. You guys are swankalicious. Alright, see you all on the next video.